What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in. Today in this video, guys, we're going to talk about the gardens. What do we know about the gardens? All right, so how can you monetize the gardens and do the best you can with it and make some money, make some cash? Don't worry. Guys, I want to give a shout out to a couple of people in this video. Uh, the first one is Sandwich Punch. He put together a great Medium article, and this is where most of it is going to stem from. And I want to give a shout out to Hans. Uh, Hans was on the AMA uh, that we had on Tuesday. We're going to have it every single Tuesday. Um, but he kind of pointed this out to me. Like I had a lazy eye and I was like, what the snap? I didn't even notice this on the map. This is on the beta version. But guys, this is where we can make our little potions. So you can use your bloaters and all kinds of junk for this. Um, so yeah, shout out to Hans. But back to the gardens. This is where we're going to stem the video off of. We're going to try to keep it short, sweet, and simple. What do you need to know about the gardens and how can you play it? Well, if we go into the gardens and say, for example, we want to select a hero to garden, you guys can see there are different pools and this is like, oh, what the snap? This is kind of cool, I guess. I, I don't know. I threw some heroes in there just trying to see how they roll. Uh, not how they roll, but I'm farming the pants out of this. Um, I love this stuff. Uh, I threw some in different pools, just testing it to see which pools get different rewards. And uh, I'll show you guys the results within a week after, or probably less than that, probably be about four days after I figure out which pools are the best and how you can monetize with them. And obviously everything really depends on the LP and allocation that you have. And I'll explain that later in this video. So you guys can kind of see the mechanics on it. You literally just assign a hero and you send them into the pool. And once you send them in, they have to mine for a certain portion. So let me go ahead and show you in the gardens on the mechanics. So Ricky Bobby, he's going nuts and ham. Uh, but what is going on with the gardens? Well, let's go ahead and go to the articles with Hubert. Now, this is from Sandwich Punch. Shout out to him. Make sure you guys give him a follow on Twitter at Sandwich Punch and check him out. But he calls this the Lost Annals of Gaia. This guy, Sandwich Punch, analyzes everything. This guy is the go-to for analysis. Make sure you guys check him out. So what is the first thing you need to know about gardening? Well, it works very different than the other quests that we have, foraging and fishing. So instead of requiring a time to complete, gardening works like this. If you have 25 stamina, it's going to take one stamina per 12 minutes for a non-gardener. And it'll take 10 minutes for a gardener. What do I mean by this? So as you can see here, duration per stamina is 12 minutes and 10 with gardening. So you want this because it's, well, how much better? It's 20% better because 12 minutes, 10 minutes, da, 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 you guys get the point, whatever. Um, so you can basically make money 20% faster and 20% more because you're able to do it in quicker time. Remember, time is money. You only have so much time in a day. And there are 19 pools. So at one time, one hero per pool. So 19 heroes can be working at a set time per time frame. Um, so going back to the uh, article. So if your guy has 25 stamina and he's a gardener, that means he can be in that pool for 250 minutes. However, if it's a non-gardener and he's got 25 stamina, well, you're going to have to increase that some. So instead of taking 250 minutes to complete that, you would have to add on an additional 50 minutes because it's going to take 12 minutes per stamina and you'll still get the same rewards, but with more time. So not as efficient. Uh, and actually, let me rephrase that. It won't be the exact same rewards. If you're using a gardener, you'll have better chances to get better rewards. So it's typically better to get a gardener. So we kind of went over the stamina point. You don't really need to know too much about that, but we want to get into the mechanics of the jewel. As you can see here, this is the earn rate. It's a somewhat complex formula, um, but not really. Uh, but TLDR on it is first, the reward pools, each of these pools have a different amount given to them. So there are some reward pools with more tokens allocated to them than others. So this is the total pool allocation. This will have, in my opinion, less rewards than another pool. However, an apple is not an apple is not an apple. If you have tokens in this pool, say you have $1,000 worth of LP tokens and then $0 worth of LP tokens here, you're gonna get better jewel rewards inside this pool because you'll get no jewel rewards if you have no LP here. But if you have 500 LP here, 
and 1,000 LP, and say you own 1% of this pool and half a percent of this pool, you're going to get more rewards than this because you own more of the pool. So TLDR on this, again, owning more of the pool will give you better rewards. It's the same thing as regular yield farming. If you own more of a certain pool, you're going to get more of the rewards. So going back into this article, there are other things involved as well. So for example, having wisdom and vitality is going to also boost it. So a higher wisdom and vitality is going to boost it. Now, the wisdom and vitality are the point stats on the card. Now, one wisdom and one vitality is equal. What do I mean by this? Well, if I have 10 wisdom, 10 vitality, that means I have 20 points. If I have 15 wisdom and 5 vitality, I still have 20 points. So it'll be 0.1 plus, say I have 20, and then it'll just be 20.1 divided by 1222. And then you'd multiply that number by the LP owned, the pool allocation you have. So say for example, I own $1,000 and 1% of the pool, and then I multiply that by the reward pool. Remember, the reward pool is the number here. This is getting 1% of the total rewards, and then you multiply that by the pool allocation. So say I hold 1%, so I do one times one, and then let's say I own $1,000. That'll mean I have 1,000 and then multiply that by the, um, let's call it 20.1 divided by 1,222. So let's go ahead and calculate that. And that'll give me 0 0.016. And then I'm gonna multiply that by 1,000. So that means I have 16.44 for my very first number. And now I have the um, gardener skill and then divide that by 244 uh, and then those two numbers will be added together. So 16.44 and say my skill is uh, zero, just to make it easy. So we'll just call it 16.44 and zero times 244 is zero. So my number is still 16.44. And then I'll divide it by 43,200 minus 7,200 times the gene bonus. Okay, so you guys can see it's a pretty complex formula, but TLDR, I came out with something like this. For the tokens that I had, I sent this guy out in the farm once and he got me 0.189 joule. This was for 26 or 25 stamina and it was a level zero gardener, doo doo squirt, like common card, like trash junk. And he got me this in 250 minutes. In my opinion, that's pretty good. Um, I know some of you think, oh, like that's doo doo squirt. Well, that's really good. I mean, I had a good allocation in the pool. So that's something to keep in mind as well. But he paid out a really good reward. At this rate, just repeating this process and constantly having a just doo doo squirt gardener going, this guy would earn me one jewel per day. Now, factor that in. If I can buy a cheap gardener for 70 jewel, or actually, no, you can actually get some for like 40 jewel. Um, factor in, okay, all I have to do is send this guy in the farm 40 days and I get my money back. So that's the ROI on it. So if I'm getting it in 40 days, that means this is paying like, what is that? 600% APR. So something to keep in mind. Sorry, that kind of was a little complex, but I showed you that screenshot. So it kind of sums it up. And Sandwich kind of breaks it down here. Uh, you got the reward pool. This is the balance of the quest pool wallet. Um, you got the, which is basically depending on how much is in there. The quest pool wallet is constantly incre uh, increasing, so the rewards are going to be higher and higher. Um, again, he actually talks about it lower, so we'll see. And then the pool allocation percent own, uh, the skill is the hero's gardening skill. So this increases over time. So the more you garden, the higher the skill you get. And this is important, remember? Because this tier right here, if this is zero, that basically gets rid of an extra bonus. But if this is one, that automatically gives you a 244 boost, which is major. Um, so that is something to keep in mind. That kind of shows how important that skill is. Uh, the more you have on this, the more it's going to be. Um, it just adds additional points to it. Now, it, it's not going to add 244 to it because it's being divided. But I'm saying like the higher this number is, like say, for example, it's 100. That means now I get to add half a point to this, which is big in in these terms. And then you also have the gene bonus. This is 20% bonus to jewel returns. So this increases more and more, as you can see in this 
I guess you can say uh, equation, uh, the gene bonus is going to add an additional boost. So this also shows like the skill boosts you'll get as you level up higher. Of course, it'll be harder to level up your guy on each quest. Um, so you guys can see that is the tier. It's going to constantly increase. It's just like a, a typical game. So like if I get to level eight, it's much harder to level up to level nine than it is from level one to level two. Also, there is a launch bonus going on right now for about four to six months. Uh, this is basically going to allow a higher level gardening for quests. So this allows you to level up much easier. So this is something that's really important to keep in mind, especially for the early users and early questers. A lot of people say, oh, is it a good time to play now or get into the game now? Well, apparently they have a launch bonus and typically you do a launch bonus when something new or something starts in the game. So I guess you're early and not financial advice. So this kind of hints on the alchemist. They didn't get to release this yet, but you can still get some of the rewards that will be used in alchemy later to make these different potions. And they're important because if you can restore your stamina within like an instant, instead of waiting time, that's, that's amazing because what is time? Time is money. A lot of people are going to look at this equation and try to game the system. And how you do that is you LP the tokens, send your guys on a quest, withdraw the LP, deposit it into a new pool, send your guy on that quest and repeat the process for each and every pool. However, it actually takes a snapshot at the beginning and at the end. So you can't really game the system and you also have the impermanent loss so something to keep in mind as well it's not just as easy as yes and no now does stamina replenish while the hero is gardening no it does not it only starts replenishing when you finish the quest uh tuki is in the house she is yelling like nuts and ham you guys can probably hear her down the hall that's my bird Hey Tukes. Another question people ask is, okay, well, if I'm gardening, will that get rid of the LP's yield? As in like, if I had 100% APR and I start gardening, is that gonna lower it? No, this actually comes from the quest pool. So this is actually a bonus. This is extra money. So keep that in mind. Can you send six heroes gardening at once? You can send them in different gardens, but you have to do it one at a time. I'm sure they will upgrade and add more additional things, but keep in mind, it will be one at a time. Will mining be set up the same? Mining will be similar, but it'll be different in terms of gains. And that will actually be taken from your locked amount. So that one is a little different. Now, there are three different items in the gardens that are common. And of course you have your own egg as well. It will also increase your chances of tears and runes if you have the gardening gene. So being a gardener will increase your rewards. It's, it's the same for like fishing as well as for um, foraging as well. Now a question was asked, when you made to decide this approach to burning stamina instead of using it for fishing and foraging, why did you do this? Well, if you look at the mechanics of it, it's actually genius and it's very smart for them to do something like that. Because if they just allowed it to basically go nuts and ham and easy to go and burn the stamina instantly and allow it to recharge, there would be a inflation to Jewel. So I think it was perfect what they did. Uh, shout out to Frisky and the developers for what they built. They did a really, really good job with the mechanics, not making them too inflationary and not making them, well, to do doo squirt. So it allows people to still buy the heroes. Is there a concern with gardening, mining for leveling up slower? No, well, they actually changed the formulas for gaining XP to make it a bit fair. And as you guys saw, um, they did take a bit of time to release it. And I'm sure they were just ironing out some small things. And it makes sense. And they did a really good job of doing that. Does it mean better rewards if you're heavy in one garden pool than over multiple? Well, it depends. Because if you have that amount spread in multiple pools, you can have, say for example, you have it in 10 different pools, you can have 10 gardeners going at once, whereas before you can just have one gardener going ham at the one pool. Because you only get jewel in the pool that you have an LP token pair in. So if you don't have any LP tokens in a pool and you send your hero into there, they will get no rewards but you will still get items. So something to keep in mind as well. 
and of course it also is not 100% the exact same. Because if you have a level 10 gardener and a level one gardener, you're gonna be better off sending that level 10 gardener multiple times and letting them rest up or at least rotating with another level 10 than you would just doing in two different pools. Why is that? Go back to this formula right here. As you guys remember, the hero skill, the gardening skill level, this is important. So this, the higher this is, the more multiples you get. And when you garden this jewel, it's unlocked. So keep that in mind. If I get jewel, do I get rewards as well? Well, just look at the picture, guys. Um, I got jewel and I got XP and I got um, an item. So I got a little bit of everything. So I'm, I'm happy with it. Items are always available. When your hero is depleted, the stamina, you have to re queue him in after he fully regenerates. If you queue him in when he's got 12 stamina, he's only gonna have 12 stamina when he starts. So that's something to keep in mind. You can't just massively queue him in like 24 seven. You do have to wait a bit. And again, that is going to keep from massive, massive inflation happening on Jewel. Yet it'll be good enough for people to still enjoy and have fun in the gardens. Last thing, the launch bonus they have going on right now only affects the Jewel rewards so it is not on the items. Anyways, this is a quick overview of the gardens. Um, there will be more strategies that are going to be coming up out of this, especially as time goes along and people figure out different strategies. But right now what you can do is use a higher level gardener and assign them to a pool that you have a larger allocation to and a higher level gardener and have them go. Once you send them in once, you can always resend them back in. So let me show you what I mean by this. If I go to select and say, hey, I want to assign a hero, I can select my hero here and then my hero will be in the gardens. I can automatically add another one after that transaction goes through just like you can with the fishing and queue it. And that way, as soon as that gardener is done, the next gardener will pop in and start mining rewards with no hiccups. Yes, you do need to go confirm to withdraw the other guy so he can start restoring his stamina. Um, but that's just something you guys can keep in mind. I hope you guys enjoyed this video on how you guys can look into the gardens and how you guys can get started in it and understand some of the mechanics. And well, thanks to Ricky Bobby, thanks to Sandwich Punch, and thank you to Hans uh, with pointing out the um, alchemist little thing uh, right here, alchemy. And let's go ahead and leave you guys with a wisdom one-liner. Prior step 13 versus 17. A wicked messenger falls into trouble, but a trustworthy envy brings healing. Be nice. Be good. Being a wicked messenger, man, you'll fall into trouble. So be righteous. Uh, by the way, guys, if you guys want to jump in the Discord, there is a link in the description below. It is the Patreon link. Uh, mainly talk about different strategies in DeFi Kingdom, some private videos I don't even show on public YouTube, as well as several other videos in cryptocurrency and DeFi. So if you guys want to jump in the Discord and chat with some other DeFi DGens as well, you guys can do so. Links in the description below. Thanks for tuning in, guys. We'll see you in the next one. I know you guys are asking yourself, okay, this is great information and all. What are the strategies? Well, you actually have three different strategies. If you do not have a high LP pool or you don't have a lot of money and you're just trying to get started, you can simply go gardening and look for items. That is one of these strategies. Second, you can pick up some of these gardeners for a low price. I don't know if people are still talking about it yet, um, but the people in Discord will be able to view this video before well most people actually test the gardening and see how it rolls and there could still be some cheap gardeners however i don't know by the time you watch this video what it will show um but picking up some gardeners are something to keep in mind why is that well if there's 19 pools and say for example a whale has 19 different garden gardens he's thrown in and he wants his jewel to constantly be pumping well he needs to have at least 38 different warriors actually more than that to constantly keep rotating why is that well because he has 19 working 19 in the queue that way well actually no it would be triple time that it would be 57 warriors because that way they each have time to rest so you have the one going through they're finished you claim them then you have another going through while that one's resting this one's farming and you have another queued so there's no interruption in between getting the rewards and then after that's done, it'll be constant clicking. But however, they want to sleep. So maybe they got to get another 
I don't know, 38 warriors. That way it can mine through the night. So let's just call it 100 warriors. So you can factor in the whales trying to get 100 warriors. And maybe me, I'm not trying to get any warriors because I don't have any LP tokens and I don't care. Uh, when I say warriors, I mean heroes. And so I'm like, what the snap? Uh, whatever, it doesn't matter to me. Well, you're not the only person. Just like out there, people are buying Doge, people are buying Shib, people are buying Curve. And you're like, why are they doing this? Well, they have different incentives. So just figure out what the incentives are and figure out how the game's going to work. And so you can understand, okay, well, then these gardeners are going, going to be valuable if there's going to be constant buy pressure from the, well, whales. And it's up to you. You make your own decisions, but that is the second option. Third is, well, you can simply get an LP pool, get a really good gardener or a couple of gardeners and send them in and just farm the jewel rewards yourself. Not financial advice, but those are some different strategies you guys can play with and hope that helped. You guys can also catch me on tweeters. Uh, it's at rent a home fast, like literally at rent a home fast.